Hello, Zebra Herd. Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hello, Isabel. Hello there, everyone. Right now on Stripe, it's 3.32 p.m. on April 28th, 2020. Now for today's announcements. Here's some great news, folks. Nook's Cranny is open again after some major renovations. Word is the shop is a lot bigger now, and they have more products on display than ever before. Anything that makes my shopping trips more exciting is okay by me. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you are interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tom Nook at the resident services. Also, recently there have been reports of a suspicious character visiting the island in the area. Apparently this visitor has been selling works of art sourced from unknown origins. Now, one who has come in, into contact with this, with the individual has been, has no one, okay, I was gonna say has been harmed. I thought it, I don't know, I misread that. I was like, uh-oh, uh, but please be careful out there. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. So I guess there's somebody new at the island? And they're a little shady. All right then, well, we'll see what this is about. Oh, we got some mail too. It's been a couple days since I've last played. Sorry about that, but we'll just get right into some things and see how it goes. Uh, so, oh, got a couple of things. First off, our utility sink, um, our KK Moody, our stew poster, um, Happy Home Academy over this way. Um, wow, 52,000 points again, because I guess, you know, we still have all the egg day stuff in there. So we get a little reward for that. Hey, I can't complain. And we get a letter from Biff, my bud zebra. I thought of an idea where you have a special day to write a good friend a letter. I call it write a good friend a letter day. I'm so glad to have you to write to. Oh, thank you, Biff. Pumped up forever, Biff. All right then. Very cool, I appreciate it. And so let's see what our little gift was from the Happy Home Academy. This is a silver HHA plaque. Um, we got the stew poster. We got the KK Moody. I gotta register those with a uh, boombox soon. But yeah, I guess we'll have some things to check out throughout today's episode. There's also a money trading for us. We also have some Nook Miles. It, it's a pretty big to-do list, right? All right, then look, I dug up a thousand bells and we'll dig that right back in there. But yeah, very excited to see the new Nook's Crowdy, see what that's about. We should just run over there right now and take a good look at that. We'll probably try to earn up a lot of money in today's episode as well, but also, Look, Miles, let's see what we got. Uh, active Island Resident. Life on the island has lots of promise. Hmm, to illustrate this, I'll award you with some Nook Miles based on the number of active days you spent here. So we've spent over 20 days, yay, awesome. So there's 500 miles for us just for that. We still have Earth Day going on. Um, so we have some things like uh, weave flowers to craft a wreath, uh, catch bugs, spend bells to buy items. That's times five as well, very cool. Um, catch fish and redeem Nook Miles. Okay, so we'll be definitely doing some more of that, but oh, look at this place, it's so fancy. Nook's Cranny has gotten an upgrade. I love it. It's like a nice little mom and pop shop now. Hi, I guess it's a little brother shop. Uh, Zebra, welcome. This is your first visit since we've renovated, right? As you can see, we're operating out of this new space now. We hope you'll continue shopping with us here at Nook's Cranny. All right, wow, so they're selling lots of new stuff as well. Um, so let's just take a look at everything. So first off, oh, is this one of those little electrical things you touch and, and it'll just make like, yeah, it'll make a little plasma. Interesting, that's 2,600 bells. I don't think I need it, but it looks awesome. Um, and this, I actually, I'm tempted. This is a book stand. Um, I just like it because it seems like it's a nice little decoration um, for the house. So there is that, and then up here, ooh, for our music room, we can get a guitar, a rock guitar, let's see. 3,100 bells, can't quite buy it right now, but we'll be doing our daily you know, to-do list, um, and we'll definitely earn up enough money for that. What is this? This looks like from like The Legend of Zelda or something. Champion's Pennant. Don't think I need it, but very interesting. There's also a little TV over this way. This is like more like a computer monitor. LCD TV, 20 inches. 60,000 bells, wow, that is pricey. Why is that so expensive? I guess there's a little golden sign here to indicate that this is like the more expensive option. I love the little outfits too, they're so cute. All right, well, let's see what's going on here. Uh, is there, whoa, colorful fishing rod. I guess it's just customized. But is it flimsy? I guess not. Star net, elephant watering can. Outdoorsy slingshot. So these are these might be upgraded. They might not be. Hard to tell. Logo umbrella. Red chic umbrella. Very cool. All sorts of stuff now. And we'll have to check out these other DIYs. DIY for beginners. Test your DIY skills. Well, just DIY. I think I've done these. I can't remember. Flimsy axe. Okay. So maybe there's not anything new. A timer for some reason. I'll pass. I don't know why I would need a timer. No, I wasn't done. Oh darn. 
I do want to see what new uh, wallpapers and stuff are available. But yeah, just the, the shop is more well stocked than ever before. We got red brick wall. Anything that just like sort of strikes my fancy at the moment. Uh, not right now, but I'll definitely be routinely checking every day for more cool stuff at the shop. I will be coming back, of course, for that guitar. But for right now, I probably need to organize my inventory, put some stuff away. But yeah, Nook's Cranny is upgraded. It looks amazing. I'm really happy about that for sure. Really glad we could have gotten that done. Um, see so yeah, first off, let's run back this way. Oh, got a little spot to dig up to. Will this be a fossil? Yeah, our first fossil of the day. Duck up a fossil. So before I go too crazy with anything, because I want to pick flowers, I want to you know dig things up, I want to do all sorts of stuff, I'm going to uh, organize our inventory so that we can do all that without too much of an issue. So we're going back out and about now. I got everything nice and organized. And like I said, my main goal, oh, our bush has been growing too. That's awesome. Um, my main goal is just going to be running around and getting as much as we possibly can done, just collect everything that we can, as per usual. And we should be able to make a good couple thousand off of it. I would be surprised if we don't, you know? So that'll be enough to get that guitar, which will be great for our music room, because we don't have a ton of instruments right now, but I just want to keep chipping away at that as much as possible. And we'll also, boom, do this. I want to save the durability on this axe a little bit. Oh, there's a bagworm. I don't really need it, <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it be. But the bushes on the side of this are growing too. I do need another bush over that way. <laughs> I don't think a leaf is here today, so I definitely need to play more often so that I can be ready for when leaf shows up. But yeah, we gotta hit the rocks, we gotta get tons of stuff going on, really. Oh no, I missed. But definitely the fruit makes a big difference. Just like that. And that'll easily be enough just for the guitar, probably some other stuff in the daily shop from Nook if there's anything. I'm not really sure, but we'll just keep chipping away at it all. But I'm really glad about the upgraded shop and hopefully we'll have more opportunities like that soon. Um, and then also, I don't really know where this guy that, uh, what is her name mentioned? Isabel mentioned. Oh, hi, how are you two doing? Hi Celia, good afternoon Feathers. I wanna chat. I'm trying to make the most of today. Me too, I'm trying to make the most of every day. Uh, this is for you. I'll go ahead and give her an orange. There you go. Oh, this is great, it's an orange. Thanks, Th that's so thoughtful of you. You're welcome. Hi, Biff. Sub Zebra, you're looking bum, Squirt. Uh, do you want this? Well, for me, Squirt? Yep, I got, got you an orange. Here you go. An orange sounds delicious right about now. Thanks, I'll eat this later. And then they don't always give you something in return, but it's always worth it because you never know, they might. Uh, you're just raring to go, so uh, what do you need, Squirt? What's the latest? Nook's Cranny is way nicer since the remodel. I could buy protein powder without bumping into anyone now. Hmm. Wonder if Timmy and Tommy would ever consider branching out into fitness gear, Squirt. I'm sure if they have the opportunity, they will. You know, if there's a market, I'm sure they'll capitalize. Anyways, we do need to also collect as many weeds as we can, even if we don't get to sell them today. We'll wait until Leaf shows back up and we'll sell a whole big bunch of them and make twice as much for it, so that'd be great. Oh, she's sniffing the flowers. I feel bad that I'm about to take them from her. I'm so sorry, but it has to be done. Did this flower move? Weird, or maybe they're just growing. I do think that they spread over time. It would make sense, because you sometimes see bees and stuff on them. They should be spreading the pollen around. Oh, and it looks like there's a bird on the bulletin board, so I'll definitely check that out in just a moment. Uh, for right now, though, just gotta keep collecting these. Perfect. So I'll switch over to my stone ax for right now, get some more oranges out of it. There we go. Lots of bugs around, but not really too many that I, I need at the moment. Yeah, really, none of them I need. All right, so there's actually two new letters, both on yesterday. No, no, it was today. Um, May Day is coming. May 1st is May Day, and we're giving you a special travel travel ticket as a gift. Swing by resident services between May 1st and May 7th to get it. Interesting. We also have shop or model notice. Nook's Cranny is open for business again. Our model gives us more space for more goods. So stop by and check out our updated shop, Nook's Cranny. Okay, very cool. So definitely we'll have to enjoy both of those. Um, but let's keep out everything. I'll go into the, uh, the town center later. Can always enjoy that at another time. Can I pluck these ones? I, I guess I can't. Weird. Um, yeah, there should be more fruit over this way, and we still have our like, little uh, stretch of fruit trees around here too. Not over here, but down this way. But yeah, I'm just gonna sort of do it in the little quadrants that we usually do. Oh, I missed one. Hold on, hold on. Don't wanna forget that. That wanna be good. So, 
Boop, got it. More oranges for me. We also want to say hi to any other villagers. A lot of you have been pointing out, I keep on forgetting to talk to Kyle. I'm sorry, Kyle. I don't mean to, it's just, I don't know, I just slipped my mind on him, I guess. So we got some cherries here. Any of these other ones available? Yep, got this one. Okay, and then one last set of cherries right here. There are some shells around. I might wanna leave those for later, depending on our inventory, because our inventory is already getting quite full. So before I'm done exploring this portion of the island, maybe, oh, there's Kyle. We'll talk to him. Oh, hello. Are you the new guy? Oh no, Apple wanted to talk to me. Well, well, you're from around here. I, the name's Red. I work in sales and you are Zebra. What a great name, intelligent, strong. I can already tell we're gonna be pals. No, no, not pals, family. Zebra, it's a pleasure to meet you, Zebra. So his name's Red. Hey, I hope you don't mind me being forward, but you look like to me someone who's got an eye for art. Don't be shocked, I've got a keen instinct for these things. I'm sorry, Apple, I'm in the middle of a conversation. You'll be next, I promise. And speaking of instinct, I just had this feeling, so I brought a perfect painting with me. Yeah, I know, what a crazy coincidence. It's like fate. Well, I wanna sell it to you, and only you, cause you're family, and you're gonna get a giveaway price. How does 498,000 bells grab you? It's a bargain, what do you say? Um, I say no. Come on now, you're never gonna get a better price than, ah, that was fate talking, right? Reminded me of your fam family, I mean, you're practically my cousin. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you my family exclusive patent pending cousins discount. For only 4,980 bells, you'll be proud owner of your very own perfect painting. Uh, I don't have the money. That's crazy, no. Crazy like a, well, you know. Well, a deal like this may never come around again. Are you sure you wanna risk that? They're your bells, I respect that. Think it over and come back when you change your mind. I actually am very curious, so I will definitely do that. But for right now, I want to uh, keep exploring because I don't have that money. Well, actually, I will now. <laughs> well, actually, I might be just short. Anyways, let's talk to you. Buongiorno, Zebra. I've been brushing up on my Spanish since we last met up. Oh, Kyle. Alpha, what have you gotten yourself into? Uh, Let's chat. Happy Nature Day, hope you're celebrating appropriately, planting flowers, cycling cans. Secretly hoping you'll meet a mother, uh, mother nature herself and score a once in a lifetime autograph. You know, the usual. Yep, <laughs> I love Kyle, he's the best. All righty then, so let's go ahead and pick up some more oranges. And I don't think we've talked to Pashmina, so let's see if she's home. Oh, there's Apple, I do need to say hi to her. I feel bad that I missed out on it, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Here she is, oh and she's crafting, that's good for us because she'll give us a DIY. Got a groove going now. This is starting to rock, kidders. What you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Check it out, I'm making a wooden mini table. <laughs> this DIY stuff takes some major elbow grease, so I like to go all out on it. Uh, it's so worth the effort though. You wanna give it a whirl? Making a wooden mini table, I mean, kidders? I can show you what, if you want. Definitely, let's do this. Oh, you say that. All right, here's the recipe, go study up. Ooh, all right then. I can wait to see how yours comes out. There's nothing like building something with your own hands. Or hooves. <laughs> Anyways, let's head out of here. Looks like we got ourselves another uh, Nook Miles done, which is awesome. Um, still plenty left to do in today's episode. I got a long list. Cause I definitely wanna buy that painting. So I guess he just sells art. True friend. So I guess we um got into a stronger relationship with uh, Pashmina there. That's cool. Oh, here's the rock that I'll definitely have to start hitting. Um, but I also need to look around for uh, messages in a bottle. I don't know if there'll be any around this way. Nope, okay, so I'm in the clear for this one. I will get this orange tree, and then we'll go start hitting that rock. So here's our shovel, let's get to it. I don't know if I really need the shovel, I, mean, I, I might, or oh, not the shovel, but the, uh, to like dig up this stuff. This is usually what I do so I don't get knocked off to the side, but you know, the house is there, but it's not really at the best spot for it. Okay, here we go. So we'll get the usual rocks, iron nuggets, clay. I don't know when the next time we're really gonna need a bunch of iron nuggets is. I mean, maybe never. Maybe we won't really need any more major amounts of iron nuggets, because I have a lot of them. Maybe I can look into selling them soon. Not really sure. 
but I'm sure they'll be useful for crafting at some point. So tempted to get that bug, but my inventory is getting filled up as much as is already. Let's go talk to Apple, because I haven't talked to her yet. She was waiting for me. Hi. Hi, how's my bestie, Cheekers? Uh, this is yours, I'm gonna give you an orange. For me? Yep, got an orange. An orange, yum! I'm going to eat this so fast, it's going to be rude. Okay, thanks a bunch. Hello. Hmm, what is it, Cheekers? Let's talk. You know how I love shopping? How I love to be shopping? To have shopped? Well, Nook's Cranny is bigger now, and the bigger the store, the better the shopping. Oh my gosh, that little store has come a long way. I'm going to be their, their most loyal customer. Well, you'll have my a competition for me, but you know what? Is it really a competition? It's a competition that only they win. Uh, but anyways, we'll go ahead and get some pears. I definitely need to plant more pears soon. So maybe I'll just save those and plant those over by where I have the cherry trees. Might be the best bet. We also, of course, have a couple more uh, trees to loot from. Well, there's another pear tree over this way, too. So maybe that's enough. Hard to say. There we go. Oh, and we also have the coconut tree here too. So that'll be good. Uh, was there something I missed over this way? There is two more orange trees I missed out on. But then after this, I gotta turn it on and sell some of this stuff because, or after I just finished with this quarter of the island, because I desperately am running out of inventory space, I think. I wanna say that there's still a decent amount of space, but I just don't wanna have to run, run all the way back from the far end of the island. That doesn't sound too fun. So, doing a little bit of that, and this. But yeah, this is all definitely worth it so that we can buy that painting, so that we can afford that guitar. Lots of cool stuff we can do, for sure. And hopefully, whatever money we have left over, we can, of course, put away to, uh... oh no, my shovel! Bad timing. But I did get a golden uh, thing there, so that's awesome. So you know, now, that, that might actually be good reasoning to head back and uh, get some other stuff figured out, because I can also get a shovel. Alrighty then. So let's head over to do that. Shop is right over here. Oh, I hear, with my ear, a, a thing, it's over this way. So this could be money, it also could not be money, because it's usually money, but not every single time. Let's find out. It's 5,000 bells, very nice, okay. A little extra cash for us. So let's go back to Timmy and Tommy and get to selling. That'll be cool. But yeah, there's a lot of cool events coming up. Of course, I want to be able to have an episode where we fish a bunch because April's almost over. And then on top of that, May 1st, there's May Day apparently. So we'll, we'll see what that's about. So, um, let's just sell what we can. Oh yeah, I wanna hold on to the weeds, I remember that. Uh, oranges, cherries, tulips, any kind of plant like that. So obviously it's not anything too crazy major, but it should be a decent chunk of pocket change. Yeah, 13,740. Uh, don't pass, sell. There we go. So at the 23,000, we haven't even found the money rock today. Where did I leave? I need to get the shovel. <laughs> Whoops. So turn back around and march back in there, demand a shovel, or at least ask nicely, because you know, we're not doing anything wrong. Why would I say anything rude to him? Okay. So. Oh, and I can buy the guitar now if I wanted to, but I might leave that for later. Um, see, they had this very fancy printed design shovel. I just wanna save the couple of minutes, <laughs> to be honest with you, and not have to go and craft my own. So there we go. I do think it'll be very fancy, though, so that's cool. I don't know if this will be any more durable than a normal shovel. I doubt it, but we'll find out. I hope it's more durable than a flimsy shovel. It is super fancy though, it has the little flowers on it. Okay, so let's get back out there. Because I think we've talked to, the, talked to every villager except for Stu now. So once we see Stu, we'll have to holler at him and see how he's doing. There's no uh, message in a bottle around here. I hope this axe isn't the next to break because that would just be bad timing. But we got some coconuts, and then I have to hit that rock over that way. Get some softwood out of that as well. Yeah, I think three coconut trees is doing a good job. They only give two instead of three, but there's just not as much land. So I think that makes sense. Okay, so I just have to hit this rock and then we're done with this quarter of the island. 
It's slow progress, but it's good progress. There we go. And if I run into red again, I'll just immediately go ahead and buy the uh, the picture. But I guess he just sort of shows up occasionally and we'll just sell things. I don't know why I didn't get the, uh, the final thing there. I thought it was pretty quick, but I guess not. I've not found the money rack though. Let's also collect these weeds. And now back around this way. Aha, here we go. So that's fossil number three. Hopefully we find three more. Okay, so not too much going on over this way. So we can, since we already have the shovel out, I might as well just do this and get started with this one. Oh, here we go, money rock. I'm hitting it as much as I possibly can, so let's hope I get the full set. There we go. Two more times. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so we were at 27 or something like that. So it looks like we'll get about almost 10,000 bells out of this. That's really good. Yep, just about that. I'm happy with that for sure. So back to, you know, hitting these trees. So we've already made some good cash in today's episode and we'll continue to do that as we explore the island. But yeah, it's very cool, all the different, you know, things coming to the game. It's, it's just constantly being able to check them, some things out. I know I haven't been recording episodes as often, but I definitely wanna get back to it because I do have a blast with this game. There's another fossil spot up there. Just sort of taking a little look at this side of the island. And there's our message in the bottle. And it doesn't seem like there's anything up here. Okay. But yeah, I don't know if Red is just gonna be showing up and walking around every once in a while, just like everybody else. I would imagine so, because isn't that something yeah, that's sort of what Blathers talked about last episode, is that there's going to be the ability to donate art to shops. So I guess we buy them from Red, and then we just donate them. Huh. What's interesting about that is it's, it's just so different from all the other donations. All the other donations are things that we actively have to go out and do, but with this, we just sort of have to buy it. I wonder if there's any other ways to get paintings, maybe in the slingshots or something. That'd be cool. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Go ahead and collect some of these oranges. And honestly, that's a, this portion of the island pretty much done. That happened pretty quick. So let us hop across to the final lower ground section before we hop up there. It might just be easier that way. So get our ax back out. And I'm glad that we're able to widen our collection of different types of wood by doing this as well. I know I'm not getting like the full set of wood, but that's because I'm trying to speed things up with shaking the tree and everything and also, you know, just get a little bit, because the durability goes down pretty quick. So this is like sort of a pretty effective way to do it, in my opinion. We're getting sort of two things done at once. Nobody's used the campsite in a while, which is sort of a shame. I don't know what I can do to promote people using the campsite more. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What's going on here? Hello? This ship's kind of sketchy looking. I shouldn't board without asking. Is this red ship? Whoa, okay. So he has a ship. I think that, I guess, uh, Isabel mentioned that. I don't know. Um, we got ourselves another spot right here. This is probably bamboo, but you never know. Nope, it's a fossil. Awesome. Look, I dug up a fossil. Indeed you did. So we can dig that up. And then over, no wait, wrong thing. Over this way, we can use our stone axe again. Okay, try not to accidentally pick up the flamingos because it's always painful when I do that. There we go. There are so many orange trees across the island. It's just, it's a great way to make a lot of money. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, and there's just a couple more flowers around here. And I see that fossil spot hiding right between it or right behind it. Make sure I grab that. There we go. So what's that, our fifth fossil? Has to be. One, two, three, four, five. So that other one that we saw on the upper level has to be the last one for today. That'll be the sixth one. I don't think it's possible to get seven fossils on the island in one day. Maybe I'm wrong, but I haven't seen that yet, so I would assume it's not. Because six is a lot, because at first it only started out being four. Anyways, we're gonna keep going with all this. And got it. So, got our fancy shovel. I'm just gonna dig right there. 
That should be perfect. So it won't be a money rock, but it might still have something good for us. If we could get another golden nugget, I'd be happy with that. Speaking of which, once we're done done digging at this, I wanna check my inventory before we hop up. Uh, We should be fine. I don't think it'll be that big of a deal, but we'll find out. Okay, so I got all that. So that actually really looks like everything on the bottom part of the island, except for this one orange tree that I missed out on. We won't need the ax nearly as much on the upper parts, because there's usually only pine trees up there, and they don't really need too much in terms of chopping them. Like they don't have any fruit or anything. So let's head up here. I guess that mostly means we're just looking for um, the one fossil spot, which we know where that is, but I might as well double check to make extra sure there's not anything more. Hmm. Okay, so here is our last rock of the day as well. But yeah, I can't believe that uh, Red just, you know, sailed here on his own ship. It, it's a, it, it was definitely a sketchy looking ship, like the game said. So we'll want to say hi to him again by his painting. Maybe that, maybe that makes us like a customer. Maybe he's always there. That'd be interesting. Maybe that spot is just for him. But I'm guessing it's gonna be like some of the other characters where maybe they just only show up occasionally, like Mabel and Leaf. But even then, I'm pretty sure that if you buy from them enough, they'll eventually set up shop. Here it is, okay. Dig it up, and we got ourselves a fossil. Look, I dug up a fossil, very good. Hmm. So I don't see too much else going on around here for right now. I guess, yeah, it's the hour change to the little bell played a tune. It's 4 p.m. now. Anything else going on this way? I don't think so. So we are good to head back. That'll be cool. But uh, yeah, well, well, first, the first thing we'll do is we'll donate to Blathers. Hey, Blathers, buddy. So I wanna go ahead and just uh, send some stuff to him. I guess I'll have to come back to him later today if I want to, uh, Give him that perfect painting, apparently. Assess fossils. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Here you go. Hopefully one of these is new. Oh, okay. So let's donate whatever is new. Hopefully, you know, two or three things. That, that's always good. Uh, when we can get that money. Make a donation. One right here, this is the saber tooth skull. Wow, and the iguanodon torso. All right, two new stuff. So the rest of it we can sell off, which is exactly what I'll do. I'm fine. I see in that case, feel free to wander about as you like. Uh, I will await art donations with anticipation. Well, they're coming, hopefully. See, lots. that's mostly all of the daily to-do stuff done. We are just gonna go and talk to Timmy and Tommy. If I can find Red, I'm going to definitely fork over that money. But did you see he did the full sales ta tactic? Give you a crazy overblown price so that the normal price looks totally like a deal. You gotta be careful of that. I wanna sell. All right then. Um, so, we're gonna go ahead and sell coconuts, Packy skull, uh, stego torso, oranges, um, Dione torso, red wind flowers, oranges, Dione torso again. Wow. Okay. Um, so not like a huge variety of stuff, but definitely worth getting out of the way. 20,660 bells. I'm sold. And I am buying a guitar with all my new money. Yep. Interested in a rock guitar. Uh, 3,100 bells. Thank you. I can't believe it. We got ourselves a guitar. Cool, so that is like one of the first major additions to our to be music room, whenever we can afford it. We're getting closer and closer to being able to afford it, but we're still a little bit off. Anyways, um, we got some Nook Miles done as well. That was for uh, this, so that's gonna be a thousand miles right there, or 21,060. Um, we'll redeem some miles for sure. I'll definitely catch some bugs soon, and the fishing I might save to next episode. We'll have to wait and see. So where's Red at? He was down here before. That's Kyle. Red, buddy. Hope he hasn't skedaddled already. I mean, the ship was still there. There's Apple. I just don't see him around right now. 
But he's gotta be here somewhere. There's Celia. There he is, hey buddy. Hey Zebra, I knew you, you couldn't stay away from a deal. Um, so with the cousins discount, it's 4,980 bells. Uh, to claim your very own perfect painting, deal? Sold. Ha, <laughs> you're not gonna regret this. I'll just take those bells from you. All right. So here's our perfect painting. I knew you had an eye for art. It's like it was meant to be. I hope we can do this again, cousin. All right, let's do it again right now. Young or old, it doesn't matter. Art speaks to everyone, and so I think, so I think, does getting a good deal on it. Okay, that's all he has to say. Maybe, oh, 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 Biff wants to talk. Hey, Biff, what's up? What's up, Zebra? Word is you've been pumping up the the island for a KK slider show. KK songs are the best. I play them during cardio on my jogs when I'm trying to fall asleep all the time. What I'm saying is, KK is kind of a secret to my swollenness, so thanks for helping bring him here. And speaking of both swollenness and thanks, this is for you, Squirt. Oh, what do we got? I thought you might uh, want something heavy to help with your endurance training. Oh, and also the KK thing. KK will come if we show enough striped spirits. So go flex your your hand cart. Hand cart, huh? Uh. Oh wow, oh that's so cute. I love it. Okay, we're gonna put that somewhere. Maybe we should put it in spots where like, I mean I could put it out in front of my yard because you know it already has like this like nice little garden vibe going on. Huh, you know what, yeah let's do something like this then. I love that, I, I usually would call this a wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow, something like that. Uh, I love this. We could even make a little spot on the ground to make it look like, you know, this won't stay there unfortunately but. Ah, oh, that's so cool, I like that. <laughs> I might find a better spot for it eventually, but what a nice little touch. Okay, so what else can I do? I can learn the wooden mini table DIY, haven't done that yet, huh, okay. So yeah, I learned a DIY recipe for the wooden mini table, and then uh, we got the message in a bottle. I was figuring what kind of protein shake I wanted to, okay, so we've already read this before. Log pack, I already know this one, so I can sell that, very cool. All right, fantastic progress made so far in today's episode. I wanna organize my inventory, go back to the town center and check out what's going on there. So definitely I wanna check out this perfect painting now. So let's just go up to a wall like this right here and uh, place item. There's no room to put anything here. Maybe I don't put it on the wall? I suppose I don't. Uh, oh wow, that looks so cool. So let's definitely go ahead and donate that though. Um, but I'm glad to have taken a look at it. We also have to put away some other stuff, so we're gonna do that real fast, not too much more. But definitely, we're building quite a collection of just everything by doing stuff every day. You know, you get more and more stacked up, and before you know it, you got a bunch of cool stuff. So we'll go to Blathers, donate our first ever painting, and then we will go and to the town center, see what else new might be happening there. There's plenty of Nook uh, Miles I could be spending. I probably wanna start exchanging some of my Nook Miles for like the golden tickets for bells or something because I have a lot of them. I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> Seems like the best bet, right? Uh, yeah, let's, let's try this out. Hi. Ooh -hoo. Oh dear, pardon me. How may I be of service? I found a piece of art. Ooh, is that so? What a manner of art will you be showing me? I'm all a flutter. Right here, I found the perfect painting. Can't get any better than that. Ooh, what? Is that a perfect painting? And a genuine article, no less? Yes, it is, indubitably. It is even more magnificent than I imagined. Now, if you were to donate this perfect painting, your generosity would enable us to add an art exhibit to our beloved museum. What say you? Might I give this work of art a new home? I'm donating it. Jolly good and hoot hoot hooray. Splendid news indeed. I really can't thank you enough. It pleases me greatly to say that I will now be able to apply for an expansion to the museum. Ooh, so much to do. I must prepare for construction immediately. Ah, Zebra, a thousand thanks indeed. No problem. So it looks like we're getting an upgraded museum. I guess that's what that upper staircase is gonna be for. I thought that was a little bit like barren. That is so exciting. Well, good for you, Blathers. I'm glad all of your museum dreams are working out here on the island. Let's go in. Hopefully there are some recycled stuff as well or some lost and found things. That'll be cool to see. Hi, everybody. Uh, what do we got? Nothing. All right, that's fine. Can't expect it every time. Uh, so let's go to the next stop. I know we're only gonna get 50 points because it's been a, a little bit. So, redeem Nook Miles. 
I got bell vouchers, Nick Miles ticket. Is there anything new? Oh, this is definitely new, the barbed wire fence. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever really use it, but I can get it. Okie doke. And I'd like to make another selection. I think I have the iron and stone fence. We'll just try this one out and see. You already have this one, so no thank you. I probably should start working on getting some of this other stuff. Like even if I'm not entirely sure exactly where I want to put it, I think getting it out would be a good idea because, ooh, especially the giant fountain, um, this stuff would definitely add to my town's ranking. I can only imagine, right? So I'm just trying to think like what maybe anything here catch my fancy. Oh, we should get some of these uh, springy ride things. They'd be great for the little park. Okay. So that'll be sent to me, you know, over the mail. Um, what else do we have? Oh, this would be cool for the, the little area in the back. Taurus telescope, thank you. Uh, hmm. Phone box, sandbox we already got. Cotton candy stall, the playground gym. Hmm. The pool is cool. I, I sort of want this for our yard or something, but it's also getting a little crowded around there, so I do get a little bit worried about that. So maybe I'll just leave it like that for now. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep thinking about it though. Maybe there's more stuff we can get, but that already spent a good chunk of our uh, miles. But of course, there's still normal nook shopping. And with this one, we could check out our special goods. We get a cypress plant. I want it. Thank you. Uh, garden gnome. Look at those guys. Like, hello. Oh! Uh, mesh cap. It says, I guess, like an abbreviation Nintendo. Oval glasses. So these are like the same almost every time. Those are just like different color variants. Only me by KK Slider. Sure. Looking good. Um, and on top of that, do we want to put away any money? I guess so. So, we, oh man, we can actually afford it too. Um, let's deposit then. I'm gonna deposit 40,000, because I usually don't need more than 5,000 after I make my daily purchases. Um, so there we go, we can do it, we can make our loan payment. I guess I should do it. <laughs> I don't know if now's a good, good time for it. I mean, there's other things we need to buy, but you know what, let's just do it. No, not from pockets. Uh, pay from savings, do the full amount. Oh my gosh, it is super satisfying but being able to pay the entire thing off in just one go. And there we go, we are currently debt free. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Okay, so what did we get there? We redeemed some Nook Miles so we get 400 points. I think, yeah, we'll spend the rest of today's episode catching some bugs. That'll be fun, uh, but wow, can't believe it. I didn't even realize that they were that close. It's just been slowly adding up over time. So hopefully that means I think we'll get a whole new room or maybe the room that we have will get a little bit bigger. I'm not really sure, but I wanna get my net out and we're just gonna catch five bugs. There were tons and tons of bugs out earlier. So if there aren't any anymore, that'll be total baloney. We'll have to wait and see. I'm actually not seeing any bugs whatsoever. Usually the upper levels. Okay, here we go. Whoop, gotcha. So here's a bug, tiger butterfly. And around this way. Aha! Oh, did I miss you there, really? Wow. <laughs> oh, there was a little bug crawling away. Yellow butterfly, is he still there? Yes. Oh wait. Oh, come on. <laughs> the angle there was a little awkward, unfortunately. So let's just, oh wait, wait, hold on. Gotcha. So that's three already. We just need two more. And then I'll sell these real quick. We're definitely having a good time. Can we go into here now? That we bought something from him or what? And I couldn't really ask him. I tried talking to him again and he didn't really give me the option to. So I guess for right now I can't, but maybe he's here to stay and we can come back some other time and check out more of his stuff. Aha, here's a butterfly. That's a slingshot. That wouldn't be very nice to do to the poor butterfly. There we go. Bug number four. And gotcha. Okay, not bad. So with all of that done, we get our Nook Miles Plus done. See, let me know your thoughts on Red. Have you been able to get any cool paintings from him? Oh, you know what? While we're up here, maybe I should get some flowers and craft a wreath. That'll be the, the real last thing we do in today's episode. So all sorts of different colors. We'll just run around. Whatever we get that's extra, maybe we'll just sell. But that'll give us you know, times five bonus miles. So whatever that ends up being will be really good. Got a couple more over this way. 
because even if I don't use the miles now, I'll use them eventually. And whenever ones I don't end up using, like I said before, we can exchange those for golden tickets, which will become bells. I think it's not, it's, it's a pretty modest amount. I think it was like, what was it? Um, I'll have to check, but I think it was like 500 miles is 3,000 bells. That's still a lot though. Like how many miles do we currently have? I don't know how to check. Uh, 16,000. So 16 times two, because 500 each. Um, that would be 42. Right now, no, 32. Um, 32 times 3,000, I guess that's like 90,000 90, bells. Around there. Um, that's crazy. Wow, okay. So actually, that might be, I mean, I don't know if I want to spend all my Nook Miles, but if I wanted to, I'd have that option, and uh, maybe that's what I would be able to make out of it. We'll have to see. If we're ever in a bind for that many bells, I'll keep it in mind for sure. Let's see if this is enough, though. Uh, I'll co oh, there's some penguins over here, too. You don't see that too often. I'll keep collecting, and we'll sort of like head back around. Oh, I ran through that one. <laughs> Not what I wanted. There we go. And got some red ones over this way. As we're heading back towards our house, because we will have a crafting station there, we can just make a quick wreath. I could either sell it or give it to somebody. Whatever option really pops up first, I suppose. There we go. So these should be plenty good enough. I'll get my ladder, get down this way, and I'll have to immediately get the pole back out. And... Whee! So the crafting station's right over this way. I do really like the wheelbarrow. I think that's such a nice touch. Uh, so let's try this out. Should I craft something? Indeed you should. And I do wanna see, we do have some new stuff here, like we have the wooden stool, wooden mini table, tea table, wooden fish, and then some different fences, of course. Um, but what we're looking for, knight's helmet. Huh, can we wear that? That'd be funny. Is some kind of wreath. This is a hyacinth crown, but if we just do alphabetical, I guess, hyacinth wreath. And this is craftable. Oh yeah, we have plenty of space for other stuff. Or for just like to sell the rest of it. Um, I made a hyacinth wreath. So that is our nature day thing. Uh, so that'll be, wow, times that's 1500 miles right there. Pretty quick way to get some miles, isn't it? Um, what is this? Accessory wardrobe and change your luck. That actually won't be that difficult to do. So maybe we'll finish it off with that, but for right now, I wanna go ahead and just sell these. Or maybe I'll save it for next episode. I plan on recording that right after this one anyways. Yeah, let's try this out now. Uh, just selling all these different uh, remaining hyacinths, and maybe just a wreath. <laughs> Be a very productive episode. We got some new stuff. We met a new character, and we um, donated some new things as well. So I don't need to donate that, but I'll do. I'll sell or don't, not donate, but sell log pack I already have, so I can sell that as well. And this was the uh, highest in three. Okay, we're good. That should be a decent little chunk of cash, right? Three thousand seven. So not too much, but hey, it was something. Alrighty, so with that being said, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.